two other things came in with the receiver room. So obviously, Michael Harmon, the last of the Legion of Zoom, gone. Kind of the end of an era there. He uh, signed with the Jets for six and a half million. Um, and then also in other news, you mentioned Justin Ross earlier. Justin Ross was uh, for the first time in like over a, in over a year. He's uh, got videos of him like running hills and stuff, looking like he's in tip top shape or get, getting there at least. Um, so, so some good news there with that with Justin Ross. But the Legion of Zoom was something because you know we had Demarcus Robinson, Sammy Watkins, Tyreek Hill, Hardman, um, Byron Pringle. That was kind of the, the Legion of Zoom guys, and he's he was the last one to uh, to go elsewhere. Um, any thoughts on his departure? Uh, you talk about on um, McCall? Yeah, on Hardman. I mean, look, he it was, it was part of the market, and the thing is, he had to do what's you know what's best for him. You know, this is how this thing works, and so guys go out and try to test the market to see where everybody is and see what I can get. Uh, I know he's probably looking for maybe eight to ten, possibly in that in that realm yeah. of money, because uh, you see the MVS got what. Was it ten million last year from from the Chiefs? Was that ten, something like that? Yeah, a little more. Eleven. Yeah, eleven. About around around eleven. Yeah. Yeah. He got he got himself a deal. Yeah, true. So he probably thought like, man, <laughs> the NBA's got eleven this year. Money's going up, right? Every every year the money goes up. That's mm-hmm. that's how it should work. It's how the market should work. Um, but I, I know he just came off of you know having growing surgery. Uh, I'm sure they use that against him also too. Uh. But, you know, he was a solid player for the Chiefs, solid player. Uh, anytime a guy's drafted and that's their home squad, the first team, there's always going to be that love. It's always, you know, fans and the teams watch the guy's development, okay? And I know he said, I think on a podcast, that he didn't feel like he got the fair shake to be the, like the number one like he needed to. We got the opportunities. Uh, at the end of the day, he had to go out there, like you said, he had to see what was going out on the market. Yeah. And so told the chief gave him that option. Hey man, yeah, let's go see what it is. So this is uh you know, McCall, man, I had can't nothing say but good things about him, man. You know, he he did he did a a, a great job for the Chiefs uh why he was here. Uh, but as the NFL, at the end of the day, NFL is all about replacing guys, it's all about moving on, it's all about trying to get better that's what it is it's trying to get you know what have you done for me lately this is the type of league yeah. and so i think when Kadarius tony came here uh they made mccall a little bit more expendable yep and so they, they were probably thinking hey look we got a guy here that's going to be able to do what mccall does uh and we're, we're going to stay with him it's cheaper so we don't have to go ahead and pay mccall that money yep but now nah, man you know mccall man speech to like I said, man, they've done a lot of great things with the Chiefs. A lot of great things with the Chiefs. I don't wish you nothing but the best, man, with the, with the up there with the Jets. Yeah. He's going to be a phenomenal player for him. And I, he's one of those guys that, you know, he's going to be watching. I'm going to be watching and cheering for him. You know, he was up there with the Jets. So I hope he does well. hope he does well. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can't say anything. You know, he came out and played um, in the AFC Championship game. He got re-injured. I mean, you'd say he risked money by playing in that game. You know, he wasn't 100% in that game. He got nailed in that third and five play. And then that's where he re-injured his abdominal injury. And, like, you know, he, he risked it all for this team just to try to get us back into the, the Super Bowl, which we did. Um, and, you know, he was a part of two Super Bowl championships. So, you know, good for him. Yeah, yeah. But, man, like you said, he, he, got, he got two championships here, man. You know, everybody commends him for what he's, he was able to do here in Kansas City. Yep. But right now this, this chapter is closed. And he may come back around. We don't know. Maybe. Yeah, right. So, yeah. Just went ahead and paid him money. So I was like, hey, man, look, if I got a chance to go up here and, and, and be number one or do that up here with the Jets, fine. Well, cool. Let me let me go up here and take my talents elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So closing the book on the Legion of Zoom. So that's that, that's why well, I guess these guys, the, the next crop is going to have to find their own uh, find their own nickname, I guess. Hey, man, it's like it every year. It's, that, it's, that is the NFL, not for long. Yeah. Right? So these these things do happen. Things do happen. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, slowly you know you, you went from you went from Sammy Watkins left, then uh, Pringle, then D. Rob, and then Tyreek, and then um, 
and Harmony was the, the, the last of it. Um, but yeah, you know, it's a it's one of those things, it's, especially it's crazy to see a, a pretty much an entire receiver room for the last two years is gone. I mean, like go from that one, and then like even even to the receiver room we had last year is gone. Juju's gone. Was here for a one year thing. Um, Harmon Watson. I mean, it's crazy, really. Or doing like just looking over your shoulder, look like looking at everybody, like oh, hold on, new faces around here. Yeah. Am I next? <laughs> hey, and you know what? NFL, you might well be. Yeah. You might well be. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.